Greetings, Northside. Welcome to another episode of Theology To Go. I know it's a different setting. I'm not in the car. I'm not out. I'm actually uh, on location at the church today in our library. Uh, it's a little cold outside, um, and I just really felt like this would be a good setting for this video. I kind of actually went back and forth on where, where I should go this week, and... Um, the thing that kind of just kept coming back to my mind was this Jeremiah passage that we read. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 4 through 11. Sorry, 4 through 10. And there's a lot to, that you could sit here and unpack with this passage. Um, but I want to just take a couple minutes and reflect on some of what Pastor Tim talked on Sunday from the Luke passage about the idea of being bridge builders versus fence builders and I think we've all experienced people in our lives who are those fence builders and it's not always a bad thing to have a fence right like a fence can serve good purposes it can offer protection but if we're using a fence in order to keep people out of the kingdom of God then that's the wrong purpose of a fence and I think a lot of times in our own lives we create fences that we don't allow God into. We try to we try to say, well God, your ministry is out there and I am in here and I need to I need to kind of I am not qualified, I'm not good enough. We try to put up these these walls, these fences. Uh, when in reality God is is showing us that he's already planned out uh, the bridge for us. So I, I want to jump into this passage Jeremiah uh, ver starting at verse 4 of chapter 1, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them. For I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. So there's a couple of things going on in this passage. One, God reminds us that before we're even born, God has a plan and a purpose for us. Um, and so I think that's just one, a great reminder for us that if we ever do feel lost and, and struggling along that God has already put purpose in our lives. God has planned us. God knows us intimately, which is a great reminder. Secondly, I, uh, Jeremiah's argument first back to God to says I, I I'm too young I I, 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 I like Moses I stutter uh, that was intentional by the way all these different things we can come up with excuses but God comes back and says no like you're not too young you're not too inexperienced because it's not going to be about you doing this on your own this is me working through you I will put my words in your mouth if you will be faithful to be my servant. Kind of like we talked about on Sunday, the idea of a bridge builder, the very first thing is being spirit led. And so if we are allowing ourselves to be led by the spirit, God will do greater things through us than we could ever think to do by building this fence. The final thing that I want to point out here is really what God is doing through all of this. Because in the very last verse of this, See today, I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. This isn't just about tearing everything down and God just saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just get rid of all the old things. There are fences that we need to tear down in order for God's bridges to be built. I think there's just some really great things that God wants to do in each and every one of our lives if we would open ourselves up to the idea and the possibility of being led by the Spirit to be good stewards of what we've been given and to faithfully follow after God's example. Well, I'm excited. Um, we get to dive into more of these videos each and every week. 
tell me if you think you know where I'm at. I, I'm at the church somewhere if you know where I am. I guess some people have make, been making these videos kind of like a bingo game, trying to figure out where I am here every week. Um, so uh, let you know, special uh, special episode next week. Pastor Tim's going to be joining us. Um, and so we'll find out where he goes on location uh, for Theology to Go. So thanks for joining us. Uh, leave a comment in below uh, where some ways that maybe God's challenging you uh, to, to be faithful, to follow this, to, to, made, to some of the purpose that God has put in your life. Where are you allowing yourselves to be spirit-led this week and in the future? Take care. God bless. We'll see you out there on the next one.